Hello everyone, it's Barbara Calvano. Welcome to my weekly Angel Messages video. This week's video is for December 12th through the 18th. And I was guided this week to use the Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So here we go. This is how I cleared the deck from past readings. And again, this is a energy reading. It is a guidance reading. Pay attention to any words, any phrases that resonate for you. Its purpose is to help you be empowered, to help you take actions in your life, to help you see what you may be procrastinating with, putting off. You know, the whole thing about working with the angels is to connect with the sweet, loving frequency which exists. It's all around us. It's only a matter of tapping into it. It's pure source energy. It is um, pretty much connecting to nature. And this is why I love the working with the fairies. The fairies are elementals. They are historically, they have been known to have really um, been in certain countries like Ireland and but, but actually all around the world. And the fairies are with us a lot right now because they're really helping us with taking care of the environment. We are living beings. We live on a planet. And it's all connected. It's all interconnected. And each week I ask for Archangel Michael to give us the highest guidance and protection. And here we go. So this is for the beginning of the week. That was the middle of the week, and now for the okay, latter part of the week. All right, so the message for the beginning of the week is Princess of Spring, and it is, it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that, that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. So even though we're in the midst of the holidays, you can still take actions with your business, with your career, projects you've been working on all year in 2016. You can still move them forward. Yes, you can. So, and we have spring here. So whatever actions you take now could manifest quickly or also definitely in the spring. Um, it's time. So, you know, just when we think there's too much to do, look at how you uh, structure your time. You don't have to go to every holiday party. You don't have to go to every family function. You don't. So give yourself that small amount of time to do work on your own projects, to do what you need to do to stay focused. And it also may help you be happier and not get pulled into a lot of drama that tends to happen around the holiday times, or even that is in the world right now. So we have this uh, card also with the words optimistic, enthusiastic, Creative, energetic. Yep, it's right here in December, uh, the beginning of the week of the 12th, to assist us with those things that we've been putting off all year. One of the things that you'll find is that there were a lot of astrological things happening, a lot of events happening that culminated in and around November, but we still have time this year to implement, to uh, complete as we prepare for 2017. And then for the middle of the week, we have the chariot. I love this. It continues the propelling moving forward. Success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Celebrating your accomplishments. Being in the spotlight. So this is a major arcana card, so this does indicate big changes. For those of you that have been thinking about it, go for it. There's no time to wait. Take the chance. If you've had an idea to leave your job, do the preparations of what you need to do it once and for all. If you've had the idea to start a website, to start a part-time job, to start a business, now's the time. Start the film, start the story, the stories, the book. If you wanted to find a relationship, did you want to get married soon in, in this life? If you really want to get um, onto that health regimen, yes, you can do it during the holidays. You absolutely can. You don't have to wait for January. Look how that worked out last year or the year after. The best time is right now. So we have the chariot with us 
And it really does talk about dedication and self-discipline. You know, my mentor, Doreen Virtue, is not a slacker. She continues to design and create oracle cards and books and is constantly putting out new courses. Even, even Kyle Gray and Diana Cooper, they are constantly working and creating new projects. So I mentioned that for people who are in the angel card reading community. But anyone who's really successful has discipline and dedication. And things don't happen overnight. They really, you know, we get um, easily pulled into the idea that it should happen in six months or three months or one month. It is about the daily application and activities and having a spiritual toolbox that allows you to take an assessment of what's working and what's not working and to keep moving forward. Even if it's a millimeter, there's really not, unless you have a need to take care of your well-being, but then again you may want to look at what what ensued right before your health went um, down. You know, my health was really affected by the election from June all the way up until uh, like November. I wasn't feeling that great. I felt the stress. It brought up a lot of emotions from the past that had nothing to do with the election. It had to do with how I related to the certain energies that were coming up, being expressed. So we have the chariot really talking about, you know, celebrating also your accomplishments. You know, it's important to like acknowledge yourself for the good work that you've done already, the how far you've come, instead of constantly looking over there and looking over there. Live in the moment. Live in the moment. And you really experience. You know, the chariot is, is about moving forward. So, but also, take time to celebrate your um, accomplishments. It doesn't mean you have to go out and get drunk, <laughs> you know. And if you can, great. But it really means just know how great you are. Know how great you are. And then for the final card of the week, we have Eight of Summer. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. Hello. It all goes together. You know, with the first one, you know, talking about going after your dreams. And then here we are acknowledging our accomplishments and know that it just takes, it does take dedication and self-discipline. Anybody who has anything really worked hard for it. And we often see celebrities who it looks like they have success overnight. Yeah, it might happen one in a million or a hundred thousand. But most of them are working hard in their craft, in their arts. People are working in, day in and day out with dedication, determination, and discipline. You know, in this time of social media, and we can we see celebrity lifestyles, and we think there's instantaneous anything. Our attention span is so short, even for fulfilling on our dreams. So it can be a relationship. It can be our health. It can be our finances. It takes day in and day out, day in and day out. Um, chop wood, carry water. The Zen saying. It is the repetition, it is the repetition over and over and finding the joy in the repetition and finding connection to your angels, ascended masters, goddesses and gods, friends to support you. Positive people, positive energy can only uplift you. you now I'm guided to talk about another thing right now. It's that you and I can actually have a drama-free life. Yes, it's something I learned in a course a few years back. A drama-free life. Now, situations may occur that need immediate tension and intensity and passion, and it could be any health issue or it could be a financial issue, but we can actually be a stand for a life of no drama. Now, it really begins with who do you let in your life? Do you allow people to spill, spill their complaints repeatedly over you, taking up your valuable time? It's one thing to be a good friend. It's another thing to be a doormat. So it's really time. If you are a light worker and you have a purpose to make a difference in this world, 
you really have to take a look at how much drama are you addicted to. That can very well be the key that's stopping you from having what you really want in the world. Your addiction to drama. And it could even be watching dramatic movies and films and things that kind of keep that, that um, vein of, of just intense, upset, complaint energy versus the fulfillment of achieving your goals, the happiness that comes from winning your games. Now there's a difference. So, look at your schedule. Ask Metatron, who also is, I know from this card, about moving forward in the chariot to help you organize your time. If you have ADD or ADHD, which many people have, learn at any time. You can use Archangel uh, Metatron to help you focus. Focus. And there's energy clearing work that you can do with the Archangels to help those distraction, distractive energies, have them cleared out of your space and in your home. So it is about buckling down for this week of December 12th. And you have the support of the fairies, you have the support of the angels with you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can contact me at my website. I wish you the very, very best. Call on your angels daily. Namaste.